Hello everyone, this is the Panda Photographer and this is a software live stream app review. This is the Primus or Primus Live in 2024. iOS has received a new update, but for you Android users, I'm so sorry. You are left out the dark. And I think it's unfair that Android users don't experience the same experience as iOS users. So with that tell everyone, I'm the panel photographer. I use iOS and Android. And I feel that Primus Live needs to uh, brush up on the Android side of things. So with that tell everyone, I'm showing you new features, showing you new layout of the Primus Live app through my iPhone iOS 11 Pro Max. So disclaimer. They did not ask me to do this review on their software or their streaming services or their streaming app. I'm doing this because a lot of you don't know about Primus Live still and you will be surprised how better it is than the YouTube app. But with that tell everyone, I'm the panel photographer, I'm a travel documentarian, photographer, journalist, and I am showing you software. So with that tell everyone, just go check the software out. First and foremost, let's go into the settings. Now, everything's still the same, but you still have two new settings here. You have your white balance in your ISO performance, and you can change the exposure value. But you also have this, which you can utilize if you want. That's up to you. But you can use green screens. If you choose to use green screen, if you have a backdrop, green screen backdrop in the background in your studio or your home, that's an option. You can use any of these backdrops if you have a green screen. So that's really good. Or if you want to use one of your old, your own photos to emphasize what's going on in the background, you can do that. So those are options. So with that tell everyone, let's go back into the settings, turn these off, and let's go back and you also have the QR scan as well, so you can link up phones if you choose to, or if you live stream in wireless somewhere else, you can do that. Those are options. Other than that, the microphone options are still the same. I'm using a lavender microphone. I'm using the Comic Con Audio BD Live 10, so take it with a grain of salt. But other than that, if I go down to the bottom corner here, you can see I have a pre-scheduled live that I did not go live on the 14th. Uh, you can literally go into these settings and you can add accounts to your account. So if you wanted to add an account, you can add an account to your Primus Live account. But can Primus Live on iOS now shoot 4K? And the answer is no. It still shoots 1080p, mind you everyone, and I think 1080p should be fine, but if you're going to be shooting 1080p 30 frames a second, can I break down the bit rates? on cell phone service carriers really quickly here so with that said everyone if you're using any lower tier like simple mobile if you're using t-mobile or you're using any other boost mobile services it's best to shoot at 1080p 30 frames a second at 300 kilobits per second that's the bit rate if you go above that or 4000 you're going to start seeing pixelating you're going to start seeing some lag in your videos and that's not very pleasant for the viewers point of view so keep it at 3000 uh, kilobits which is bit rate if you're shooting at 1080p 60 frames a second you want to shoot that either 5000 or 6000 but make sure that you're using AT&T or Horizon because those are the best in, in my experience using AT&T and Horizon at shooting 1080p 60 frames it works really well but keep in mind that your phone will get hot and the battery will drain faster so bring an extra battery brick just in case, ladies and gentlemen. So, with that, tell everyone, uh, you can shoot at the bit frames at 24, 30, and 60 frames per second. That's your option. Uh, if you want to uh, change anything else, yep. You can do intervals. You can do a one second, two second, and three second delay. But other than that, everybody, when you actually start the live stream or before you start the live stream you have options now the layout is different from before now you have room to type in your titles change your thumbnails and if you click this little pin icon on the right hand side of the screen you can change your descriptions at any time before when you were able to change your descriptions 
you had a problem. Every time you deleted a word, it would jump right back into the top of the screen and you have to see the score down to where you left off and start off there. And that was kind of like a new sentence, in my opinion. So hopefully Premium's Live have brushed up on this and you can add anything you want in your descriptions, but keep a minimum of 5,000 words, okay? Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, you have other features on here, but I noticed two things. If I go into the parenting um, menu, I noticed this menu, when I'm in land, um, portrait mode, it's not really polished, so Premium's Live. When I'm in landscape mode, uh, it's not very polished. I'm going to show you that right now. And as you can see, it's not polished. They need to brush up and finish the finishing touches on this app. But with that said, everyone, I'm just giving you guys context, what's here and what's available. You got other features, you got DVR settings now on ISO, uh, iOS now. Uh, what else? You can do global, you do private, you can lock your videos. Um, basically, yeah, you can do a lot more now on previous live. But here is what is driving me a little bit insane right now. They updated some of the GIF and the emojis for your live stream interactions. So if I was go to live stream and you go to trending, they updated all of this. But they also updated all of this. And you get a lot more, like reactions. You got the reaction button now. You got thanks, hi. Humans Live Studio. You got. Sorry, everyone. I'm trying to look for a sentence here. Okay. You got fireworks displayed. You got the trend displayed. Yeah, all these new features. Sorry, everyone. My fingers are very cold. And if you go to live stream and you go to wait a second here. There was a set in here. Okay, there you go. So you got greetings, you got your congratulations, you got your awesome, you got your loves. If you love your audience, you got your fun, you got all oh my panda emojis. Yeah, that's a lot of random cool stuff in the previous live app now, so you can have better interactions with your audience. Uh, you got color displays, you got emojis as well. Uh, what else do they have here that we can highlight? Trinden High. There was a reaction. But there was like live reactions button here somewhere. I'm trying to look for it. There it is. <coughs> you see these cool new features that you can have interactions with your audience? These are cool. Got the explosion, got the question mark, like what? What did you say? You got the crack window. You got the explosion. You got the hearts. And you got the fireworks. So these are the cool features that you may want to play around with. Just play around with it see what you got. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, text-wise, there's nothing really new here, to be honest with you. Uh, screen savers are some new, some are not. Clock-wise, social media, all this social media bands are now new so they added some new ones I guess then some of the captions you can add captions if you want and stickers so take it with the grain of salt everyone and as you can see this is pretty much that's pretty much it you got your 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 widgets if you want you can go global you can go wireless if you're doing a wireless stream you can have options doing that but other than that, ladies and gentlemen, this is the new Premium's Live app, and uh, it's looking good. I'm going to turn this off because it just looked a little bit too soft. You can add sharpness to it. You can add natural, cute. I like mine to be off. So, and you have other options. You got other options like uh, Lux. If you want to use a Lux, you can use a Lux if you wanted to. 
and mind you they have more Lux packages than YouTube app so take it with a grain of salt I like some of these because they look natural they look good you got black and white mono mono 2 mono 3 mono 4 you got f1 which is film look you got the cool look you got the warm look you got the vivid look you got the saturate or selfie look and you got the natural look based on the letters that is presenting you yeah you got all these originals this is cool but other than that, ladies and gentlemen, this is the new Premiums Live app as of 2024. What do you guys think about it? Do you guys think you're going to download it and use it more often than the YouTube app? I think you should, and it's free. That's the best part. It is free. So if you want to share, you can share your live streams as well, or you share it on Facebook instantly, so you don't have to keep going back and forth, which is great. Uh, you can see you got your modern and your audio your your your, your bitrate and your frames per second and you can see battery life but with that said everyone this is pretty much it and glad that you came to my video to watch the breakdown do you think you want to use this or you should you download it i said yes download it it's great for ios users and it's fantastic especially on a gimbal so with that said everyone this is the panda photographer and disclaimer if you guys want to Support the channel, please support the channel, like and subscribe in chat, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. So with that said, eat, sleep, photography, live stream, and repeat. See ya.